and he was coming right at me. We're gonna go see what we can find. So we have a game warden, two hunters on adjoining properties, a giant buck in the middle. Stick around until after the drone search and I'll let you know how it turns out. Mer Came in the 15 yards. Yeah. And he was coming right at me and then he turned broadside and I couldn't shoot because of a branch. Right. So I left him take like two, three more steps. Yeah. Then he actually quartered towards me quite a bit. Okay. Than I wanted him to. Yeah. Because I, I thought he's gonna go straight. Okay. And then I stopped him and shot. And you have video of the hunt, right? Yeah. And I, so you have video. It was a little shaky at the end, but right. we can see kind of where the arrow hit yeah. and it no no pass through. No pass through. Um, it looks like it hit the front shoulder, and hopefully we got enough penetration yeah. that it got into the body cavity. That's mm -hmm. what we're hoping here. Um, you guys tracked it how far? Uh, about. 100 yards probably okay 90 to 100 90 to 100 yeah. and when you uh then you just stop because the blood ran out or right. blood ran out and yeah. how much further did you guys go 70 yards 70 yards and backed out how long did you guys wait to track it total four hours four hours okay four long hours all right didn't push anything didn't jump anything nothing no. like that no okay we had deer walking towards us while we were tracking him yeah okay all right well yeah. i guess um let's see what happens here Mm -hmm. We'll fly it out. I'm sure, we're going to see plenty of deer. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Um. So what you just saw was AJ and John make very short work of this deer. This drone search only took about 15 minutes. Um, we had the deer before the uh, young man, the young hunter. Comes to find out, and we didn't know this at the time, a uh, hunter on adjacent property had also been hunting this deer. Both these hunters had trail cam pics of the deer um, and were both going after him. So when the younger hunter had shot the deer, 
he notified the landowner who actually showed up uh, to the property before we had gotten there. He'd also notified the other hunter who he apparently had some sort of relationship with that he had shot the deer. Well, the other hunter wasn't so happy about him shooting this deer that they were both hunting. Um, ended up calling the game warden, making some allegations against him. Uh, and the game warden, rightfully so, started an investigation. Actually showed up to the young hunter's house and wanted to seize the deer pending the investigation. Well, that didn't happen. The young guy was where he had legal right to be. There was no trespassing issues on his behalf, as far as we could tell. Why both of these hunters just couldn't get along and the hunter on the other property be happy for the younger hunter uh, shake his hand and help him look for it, who knows? I guess jealousy got the better part of him. Anyway, the matter was resolved pretty quickly. The younger hunter was in the right. He was, he had to hunt on video as you saw. So he was where he was legally supposed to be. We recovered the deer uh, legally and everything turned out in the end. I'm gonna show you a better picture of this deer here in a second. It's, it's a pretty good deer. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up, show you a picture of this deer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.